Let's build a remote control lawnmower. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, and we're not getting any younger. And cutting grass in a small yard like I've got, there's no sense of buying a riding mower. It doesn't make any sense at all. Uh, I'd probably hit half the stuff, tear it up in less than a season. So I got a push mower, self-propelled self one, a good one. Uh, I still have to walk behind it and stuff. It's hot. When you get off of work, which I still work, I'm only 61, uh, you just really don't feel like it. Well, what would be nice is sitting in this chair in the evening with a beverage and cutting grass and then go sit over there or I'd even install a fat shark or something like that the heads up display and put a camera on it so I didn't even, I don't even have to get up so that's kind of the idea and we're not going to, we're probably not going to do that. But anyway, I have two friends that donated lawnmowers. Both of them look good. Uh, so, what do you choose? You got a five horse one on the right with a 21 inch cut. And then you have a four and a half horse on the left with a 20 inch cut. So the decision is made, is based on looking at the back of the one on the right. There's a lot of plastic there and everything that's going to have to be uh, closed in, sealed up, welded up. But then on this one, the 20 inch smaller one to get around in smaller places is uh, the one I'm going to choose. We're going to take it apart, clean the deck up. What I'm going to do is, because I've, I've seen a lot of, I have looked at a lot of videos where people have built these things, and they're using mobility chair motors and swivels in the front, and it, to me, none of them, and you know, some people have got big, huge yards, they're doing remote control riding mowers, which is a little different ball game. Uh, I need a small one to get around, you know, that's it. So... What I got in mind, we're going to take this one. We're going to take all the wheels off. And on the back, I'm going to install uh, pneumatic 8-inch tires. On the front, I'm going to take this frame right here. I'm going to mount it directly up there. And I'm going to mount it where it's straight up and down, level off the front to clear another 8 inch pneumatic tire and then this motor is going to connect right here to drive it and then I'm going to have a gearbox to turn it so it'll actually be three wheels. Now here's some of the parts and I'm, and I'm going to give you a parts list I'm going to post it and I'm going to give you a parts list of some of the stuff you need. Now this is a Razor motor this is a controller, which is a 24 volt. This is 24 volt. These motors all automatically come with a, and this is a H25 chain. They all come with a sprocket already on. I bought a 55 tooth sprocket. That's a 9 tooth sprocket. Hadn't really done the ratio on it, but this is going to be variable. And, uh, you know, the speed's going to be variable. I think where they 
a lot of people not fail, but where it doesn't work good is it's going to pull from the front. And you'll literally be able to turn this tire almost around. Well, you will be able, I'm going to have enough slack in the tire to turn it to where you can back up. You can go literally sideways 360 degrees. So if you run up to a fence, you can turn it, take a right hand turn and go. I'm thinking this is going to be the way to go. And uh, what we're going to do, we're going to take this lawnmower powder apart. I'm going to take the motor off of it and stuff like that, check the motor out. But we're going to take the deck off and we're going to get that welded on. And we're going to do some measurements on some wheels. Probably go to uh, Harbor Freight <laughs> and uh, get some wheels. The back part of it, you're going to see right here. I'm going to weld in a little heavier plate so I can run an axle through it. What I might do on the front is cut this right here on both of them and keep this in or just round it all right there. These are going to be off. That frame is going to be welded onto there so the wheel can spin around here. Uh, you'll be able to go to the speed you want. The other speed controller that it's in the parts list will be to run the uh, gearbox and that's in the parts list too to run that to steer it and the reason that is that's a, a robot or a uh, battle bot type controller where forward and reverse are identical if you use a regular RC ESC uh, you get like 50% or 60% control on reverse and 100% on forward. Well, this is steering. We need 100% on both. So that's the reason for that one. Uh, the gearbox to turn that is, uh, I think, 78 kilograms, which is, you know, 150 pounds plus, more than enough to turn it. Uh, and a couple of small razor batteries to power everything. That's it. You're there. Uh, <clears throat> this is going to be a fun build. <laughs> Very fun. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, whether it works or not, can't tell you. But I'm going to leave a parts list that's going to have all the prices on it, what it's going to cost. Like I said, I have some of the parts here. If you know somebody's got a razor, you can get the uh, you buy one of these controllers. They're very inexpensive. Get the motor off of that. Buy you a sprocket. We're there, dude. So, uh... measured center and I did it between these two points right here I think I'm going to keep these here for support for the upper arm I've already prepped this to a, a little bit to an extent the uh, this is basically how it's going to go but I'm gonna have to get some tacks on it I, there's really no good way of doing this It's going to be a good weld, and what I'm going to do is I'll cut this to level. I'll level this, and, the, and then I'll cut that to level because it it has to be straight down. Because if it's in any kind of an angle, that's going to give it a hard turn. Hard, you know, it's going to make the turning harder on it. And the closer I can get it, and I'm probably going to cut it here, get over here, but I've got to clear an 8-inch pneumatic wheel. So... That's going to be center right there. 
so it's just gonna be hard to hard to clamp it I'm gonna see if I can't might get a fusion tack like right there and then bend it down I don't know it's not gonna be easy but this is where I'm at and this is what we're doing next and then I said I'm pretty much gonna have to eyeball it right there because it is center but I did get this ground and cut pretty good uh, probably need to decurf that but that's not gonna matter uh, I'm definitely definitely gonna have to TIG weld that uh, and like I said guys you know as this as this series of videos goes on don't let the equipment or the stuff that I have prevent you from doing something like this go to a welding shop they will weld it for you support your little local machine shops and welding shops they'll be glad to do it for probably a lot cheaper than what you think so we're gonna try to get this tacked up and then get it welded and then I want what I want to do is I'm gonna cut this to get this perfectly level and then I'm gonna come off of here and I think and the reason I'm gonna keep these is more of a support for side to side for turning and what have you so and some of the and a bunch of this is gonna come off because I want it tucked in as tight as I can with that being said uh, let's get to it all right guys we got this welded up the uh, not the prettiest in the world but this was really thin stuff I'm leaving these here because I'm making connecting bars to here what is what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna cut this 45 it I'm going to check the angle on this and I'm going to bring this to where it's level and I'm going to tuck it in so it's for an 8 inch wheel and I got to have a distance off the ground so I'm going to catch that on the other piece that comes out of here what distance I need and uh, that's what these are going to be for for the stability but it doesn't really need it but just in case you know there's going to be a lot of side thrust in this way and that way but we've got the first part started got to cut these off I think these are going to come out it doesn't really matter but we're going to like I say 45 this bring this down to where this is level with this deck because I want the wheels straight up and down any angle this way will make them hard to do this any angle this way will make them hard to do this so that's what we got going on this is gonna be cool and uh, I'm gonna clean these welds up you know grinder and paint makes me the welder I ain't which this was kind of hard to do right here no big deal I'm not worried about it if I was worried about it I'd bondo it just like the custom car guys do bondo the damn thing sand it off and make it look smooth it's a lawnmower it's a remote control lawnmower we're not worried about that so this will be closed off completely this is going to be a total mulching mower uh, got all that welded up and everything like I said this is going to be super strong so uh, that's pretty much it for right now guys hit that bell hit like and subscribe uh, keep watching for this video because or this project right here because this is going to be pretty cool the uh, it's gonna pull from here the motor and everything the, what I've seen on the other ones that people have built there's trouble steering you always see the videos of them going straight you don't see them doing that 360 and going to the corner of the fence and everything else like that we're all getting old and we all would love to have one of these and I've been wanting one and I've been looking into it uh, I've raced RC boats for years, so the RC thing is not a new thing to me. But uh, by the time I get done with this video, it's not going to be a new thing to you either. So that's it. Hit like and subscribe. Thank you very much for the subscribers, and thank you very much for watching.